Since you now know how many sharps there are in each major key that has sharps, in this lesson, you will learn the names of the sharps in each key. Again, the Vaughn cube makes it easy. To name the sharps in any key, imagine yourself standing in the center of the cube facing the front wall. You already know that the key of C major has no sharps because C, cat, is in the zero location, the back wall. You know that the key of G has one sharp because the giraffe is in location one, the back left corner. But what is the name of that one sharp? The next step is easy and important. In the cube, the names of the sharps for all the keys are already in place in the cube. Even better, they are also in the exact sequence in which you name them as long as you know where to start. That's easy, because you always start at the same place, the right wall, and name the sharps clockwise around the cube. To name the sharps in a key signature, always start at the right wall, F sharp, and move around the cube clockwise. The names of the sharps are in the cube positions. The key of G major has one sharp. So point to the right wall, imagine the frogs, and say F sharp. The key of G major has one sharp. It is F sharp. If there is one sharp, it is always F sharp. The key of D major has two sharps. So start again by pointing to the right wall. F sharp, then move clockwise to the back right corner, C sharp. The key of D major has two sharps. They are F sharp and C sharp. The key of A major has three sharps. So start by pointing again to the right wall, F sharp, then the back right corner, C sharp. Now, this is important. In naming sharps, always skip the back wall because it is zero and go to the next location, the back left corner, G sharp. The key of A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. The key of E major has four sharps. So start by pointing to the right wall again, F sharp, then the back right corner, C sharp, skip the back wall, the back left corner, G sharp, and the left wall, D sharp. The key of E major has four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. The key of B major has five sharps, so start by pointing to the right wall, F sharp, the back right corner, C sharp, the back left corner, G sharp, the left wall, D sharp, and the front left corner, A sharp. The key of B major has five sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp and A sharp. The key of F sharp major has six sharps. So start by pointing to the right wall. F sharp, the back right corner, C sharp, the back left corner, G sharp, the left wall, D sharp, the front left corner, A sharp, and the front wall, E sharp. The key of F major has six sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp. And last, the key of C sharp major has seven sharps, so point to the right wall, F sharp, the back right corner, C sharp, the back left corner, G sharp, the left wall, 
D sharp, the front left corner, A sharp, the front wall, E sharp, and the front right corner, B sharp. The key of C major has seven sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. The sharps always appear in the same sequence and the same location on the musical staff. Notice, if there is one sharp, it is F sharp. If there are two sharps, they are F sharp and C sharp. If there are three sharps, they are F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, and so on. You have now learned all the major keys that have sharps, how many sharps there are in each key, and the names of those sharps. Practice in your learning guide until you can achieve 100% and speed before going to the next lesson. This ends this lesson.